Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Spawner here and welcome to another episode of Mod Chip Wiki, which I've not done in a while. Basically, on this series, we take a look at a mod chip for console and talk a little bit about its features, uh, its price, and um, any other details that might be important. And uh, basically, my goal with this is to kind of uh, put together a uh, playlist of these videos where that way, if you want to find out a little bit about these mod chips, you can kind of... Um, check out the video and I also place links in the description hopefully if they still exist to where you can purchase these mod chips So let's go ahead and get into it So in this video we are going to be talking about the Aladdin mod chip for the original Xbox specifically the Aladdin XT plus um, 2 I guess also known as the Xeno FX at the time, I basically was able to find the mod chip um, from a actual mod chip seller um, going for $12, 12 US dollars. So um, again, that is the price I saw. You might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere, but I will place a link in the description if you want to purchase one for yourself. So first we're going to take a look at some of the software features. We have the Evox M8 Plus BIOS M8 Plus uh, underscore 16 dot bin this mod chip allows you to do a lot of the things you'd expect from a mod chip such as play backups play homebrew play original imports run debug executables um, it has the lba48 hack it allows you to upgrade your xbox's hard drive to a max of two terabytes which is massive uh, considering how small the game size was for original xbox games in comparison to current gen it also has embedded in-game reset and it is compatible with all Evolution X software. It has a no patch hack, eject trick hack, auto patch, new media flag titles, and it has support for the Xbox 1.6 and 1.6B. As far as hardware, it has a power LED indicator, updated core, it has LPC bus timing code optimized for flawless 1.6 performance. It has a powerful transistor drive for D0 uh, which basically says no need to use short cables for the D0 point. It has an on and off boot mode, so you can um, boot the console without activating the mod chip, which is really cool. It can be flashed for upgrades and actually includes a socket um, to be upgraded, a socket that you can flash through. It has open tool design, and again, it is compatible with Xbox's version 1.0 all the way up to 1.6b. As far as I can see, install for this mod chip looks relatively simple. Obviously, depending on which revision of the original Xbox you have, your install is going to be a little bit different. And from what I'm seeing, it looks like it's a combination of installing a pin header along with a couple wire install, but none of the um, none of the soldering looks difficult, especially after doing like the uh, Xbox 360 RGH or RJ tag and like that. It looks like a walk in the park. So. Um, once again, this is the Aladdin XT Plus 2. Um, if I can, I will try to get my hands on one. That way I can uh, kind of get some cool close-up pictures and we can kind of just take a look at the chip ourselves up close and personal. Um, but if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or if you have a suggestion for next week's or next time's mod chip wiki, um, let me know which mod chip you'd like me to cover in the wiki in the description down below. Hope you guys are all doing well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Dope Swanner and I am out. Peace, guys.